Well, the investigation into that deadly bus crash that killed six people, including three Tuscarawas Valley High School students, continues this morning. The NTSB says they'll have their preliminary investigation complete in about two to three weeks. For an update on the investigation and how you can help this morning, let's turn to Carmen Blackwell. Carmen, good morning. Good morning to you both and next steps are that investigation. It will continue as healing is now the priority for the Tusky Valley community. Just yesterday, Governor Mike DeWine, he had a, held a press conference. He says that the federal probe will not hinder or delay the investigation from state officials. Yesterday, DeWine met with the NTSB chair Jennifer Hammondy as the agency continues their investigation into Tuesday morning's deadly crash. At this hour, details are still very limited, but Hamandi gave some insight on the other vehicles that were involved in that collision. The NTSB says that they will review video from inside some of the vehicles there, look at traffic conditions leading up to the crash, and try to figure out what exactly caused that massive fiery collision. But a rare moment and a very emotional Governor DeWine during that press conference. Let's listen. We've had other tragedies. Uh, that involve uh, children. Uh, you know, I can tell the parents that I have, you know, been where they've been, been where they are at. Anybody who was on that bus, you know, has been traumatized. And, and, you know, we have to continue to keep them in our prayers, but also do everything that we, we can to uh, wrap that community, uh, wrap our arms around that, that community. Well, requests to make donations have been pouring into the district from those wanting to support the families impacted by this crash. So if you'd like to donate, the Tusky Valley Trojans Foundation, they set up at a FundMe, a GoFundMe that is a first federal community bank, is a GoFundMe set up to deposit any funds raised into that account. You can scan the QR code that you see right here on your screen. That'll take you right to the GoFundMe. And you can also find that very link on our website at WK. YC.com. And Maureen, right now, as I am checking the GoFundMe link, uh, the goal right now, it's set at 65000 and so far, $55,327 wow. have been raised for that community wow. and very much needed. Yeah, especially as we learn the names, the stories. I think we all feel how the governor right. felt in that moment, so I'm not surprised that that GoFundMe is growing so fast. Carmen, thank you so much. Absolutely.